Hello, and welcome to Mandarin Slang Guide, MSG, the Chinese learning podcast that tastes great and probably isn't all that bad for you. I'm Josh Ogden Davis, bringing you the tastiest Chinese words that aren't in your textbook. In today's show, we're talking about some of our favorite WeChat stickers. Now, if you don't know, WeChat is the social media and messaging app for China. Everyone is using it, and one of the main ways that people express themselves is through stickers, which are basically what we would call GIFs. But a lot of these stickers can be pretty hard to understand if you're not a native speaker, since they often have slang or puns or cultural references that you might not know. So, to help you out, Avers and I. Oh, hi, Avers. Hi, Josh. Avers and I will talk you through some of Avers' favorites. But, and this is disclaimer time. Before I left for the holidays, Avers and I recorded three episodes back to back, and this is the third one. So we might get a little bit loopy and slash or self indulgent, and we did veer into some Chinese profanity for a little bit. So, kids, you can tune out now, or put on earmuffs, or go to bed, or whatever kids do. But still, there's a lot of useful stuff in here. So,、uh, hey, without further ado, we have nothing this time.、Mm-hmm. We're going completely off the cuff. And the way we're going to do it is Avers is going to physically hurl a sticker at me, by which I mean send me a sticker on WeChat,、mm-hmm. and <laughs> then I'm going to guess what it means. And we're we're all just going to learn a lot from、uh, from our experiences here today. So, by the way, Avers, how are you today? Great. Can you send me your favorite WeChat sticker? Ah,、uh, you know what? I couldn't find it. My、no! favorite WeChat sticker is、uh, it's an image of a WeChat envelope, WeChat red envelope. Oh yeah. You know when I when I first received it, I I thought it was an actual envelope, so、mm-hmm. I clicked it and、mm-hmm. nothing happens. Yeah. Yeah.、It's、so the, the other person kind of tricked me into thinking he gave me an em- envelope. Yeah. So the yeah. the way people share money with each other, like we have Venmo in the states or PayPal or stuff like that,、mm-hmm. but WeChat is also you hook up your card to it and you can just send money to anybody anytime.、Yeah. And it's common in big WeChat groups sometimes to just send a red envelope, a Hong Bao we talked about before. Yeah. A little envelope full of money, but you're saying there's a sticker that looks like that, only fake. So people、yeah. think that you sent them money. And they realize you've only sent them disappointment. Yeah, I think whoever makes that is a genius. <laughs> yeah, one of my favorite ones is the one where,、um, like, it looks like a speech bubble, and it says "haha," but there's a bug crawling around on the "haha."、Oh, so it looks like the first. It got I hate that、time. one because <laughs> <laughs> because it looks like a real bug. Yeah, yeah, that's why I hate it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we, we we've dallied for a while on this, but um, hit me with the sticker that I that I don't get. Okay. The suspense is literally killing me. I am.、Uh, <laughs> my heart rate is slowing. Okay, all right. I love it. You have started from the top here、uh, because、uh, you know who made this sticker. Did you? I made this sticker. Really? So what I'm looking at right now is a cow, but it is also a bee. <laughs> it is a cow that has the coloration of a honeybee and also has antenna and it also has little honeybee wings on it. And I made this sticker. I googled cow bee. And I found one, and I put it on WeChat, and I sent it to my friends. And I am a genius because,、uh, <laughs> do you dare say what this means in Chinese? Can I say that in in a podcast? Hey, you sent me the sticker. You gotta say it. How about nyopi? Nyopi, yeah.、Uh, so literally,、um, nyo is cow. Yeah. And b is a rather impolite word for female genitalia、mm-hmm. in a way.、Um, And what does "nyobi" mean in Chinese? It means awesome. Yeah, yeah.、It、means awesome, incredible, super powerful,、You're、very good.、It. Oftentimes, it's shortened to "nyo"、mm-hmm. uh, because "b" is a bad word. So if you say something is "nyo," ah, "ni he nyo." 谢谢，我知道。You very nyo. You you're very cow. I said, 谢谢，我知道 Thank you. I know.、Uh, so cow literally in Chinese means great,、yeah. and.、Uh, That bad Chinese word sounds exactly like the English word for bee. Yeah, yeah, b e e. Yeah, mi feng in Chinese. You're、mm-hmm. right.、Um, so a cow bee is a nyo bee.、Uh, so it's a, it's a quasi profane sticker. I mean, I could have to put a mature tag on it.、Uh, okay, you sent me another one.、Uh, this is a sad lemon. 
that's looking at me with very piteous eyes, and it's frowning. It looks like it's on the verge of tears. And at the bottom of it, there are three characters. What does it say? 我酸了。我酸了。I think we talked about this one on our first episode. We did, and I love that because this is the perfect callback. So yeah. on the first episode, we talked about 我酸了, and that means... I'm sour. I'm sour, or I'm jealous. Yeah. Right, so that we use sour, the flavor, to represent jealousy. All right, and I'll send all these to the WeChat group, by the way. So if mm-hmm. you're not in the WeChat group, fix that problem. Send us an email. I'll pull you in. All right, so we got two so far. We have the niu and the wo suan la. What else do we got? This one is my favorite. I have not seen this. I need to blow this up. So I, th- what am I looking at here? I see some sort of, okay, it's a coconut. No. <laughs> it's not? <laughs> it's the it's the seed of lotus. Oh, 莲子. okay. It's a lotus seed, but it's cut open, and yeah. there's like a, a is that like a baby lotus plant growing out of it? No. Uh, did you see the green part? That is uh the core or like the pit of the lotus seed, and that green part is really bitter. That's why the ah. caption says 我心好苦. Right. Okay. So this is a normal lotus seed that's been cut open, and it's yeah. supposed to look like this. Mm-hmm. And you can see the the heart of the lotus inside the seed, and it says "wo xin hao ku," which means my heart is bitter. Yeah. So like the heart of the lotus seed is, in a taste sense, yeah. bitter. Mm-hmm. But you're using this to say my heart is bitter. Mm-hmm. And what is what am I saying when I say my heart is bitter? It could be like you run into some unpleasant encounters. Ah, yeah, you just have a bitter feeling in your heart. Yeah. Yeah, you feel bad. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So it's a pun on my heart and then the heart of the lotus seed. Mm-hmm. All right. I like it. And my heart is bitter. This sticker Wishing comes helpful. with a second part, which is... Two-part sticker. Yeah. 我没有心. <laughs> 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 so I'm looking at a lotus seed right now that looks the same as the other one, only the xin, the heart, has been pulled out. It's yeah. just an empty seed. What does it mean? Does it mean like I I have given up? Yeah, exactly. I don't have a heart. I mean, different. I gave uh, up. I I've made myself feelingless like, to avoid the bitterness of life. Yeah. What may you see? All right. So we have this lotus seed duo. What seen how cool? My heart is bitter, and what may you see? I have no heart. All right. Let's go on. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> this next one is great. So what am I looking at here? Uh, do you know Li Lei? Yeah, he's one of the characters from all the Chinese English Li, textbooks. Yeah, Li Lei and Han Mei Mei. Li Lei and Han Mei Mei yeah. are the two children characters who are acting out all of the English dialogues in all of the English textbooks throughout China. Mm-hmm. Or at least were for a period of time. Yeah. And it's like putting up his hand and pointing this direction and saying, you can you up. You can you up. Uh, he's like he's sort of inviting you to the stage, like pointing to the stage, like inviting you to, hey, you can, you up. Yeah. And the Chinese is ni xing ni shang a. So ni xing ni shang. What mm-hmm. does that mean? Uh, it means like when you are when your friends are making fun of some people, mm-hmm. you can say ni xing ni shang. Mm. So it's like stop making fun of them. If you can do it, you go for it. Yeah, if you can do it, you go for it. Yeah. So ni xing ni shang. And that's paired with the English translation, you can, you up. Yeah. <laughs> so, ni is you, of course. Mm-hmm. Xing means a lot of things. It can mean to walk, but it also means to be good or to be okay at something. It's a common insult to say, ni xing bu xing, means, can you even do this? Are you okay or are you worthless? Ni xing bu xing. Are you xing or are you not xing? Because I think you're not xing right now. So, <laughs> ni xing ni shang yeah. means if you are xing, then you can shang. And shang literally means up, up, but it can also mean go up to do something. Mm-hmm. Um, so it's saying, hey, if you are xing, if you can do it, then go do it. Otherwise, stop complaining about other people. So ni xing ni shang. And they've translated it directly. And this is something you do hear people say sometimes <laughs> as a joke. Mm-hmm. You can you up. I love, I love these. Um, well, Avers is finding the next sticker. I'll just sort of comment on this. I love these sort of... Uh, uh, joking bad translations like uh, 好好学习,天天上上 Ah, uh, classic so, Yeah, so <laughs> 好好学习 好好, you've doubled the 好 so it means good 学习 is study so study well and then 天天上上 天天 every day 上上 pointed upwards mm-hmm. or getting better every day so 
study well and improve every day. 好好学习，天天向上。But people often humorously translate it to English as good, good study day day up. Good, good study day day up. Because literally, that's that's the literal translation. Yeah. And this is another example of that. Ah, and Avers has sent me another example of this this literal translation.、Uh, this is this is also Lile, right? Yeah. The same little character. Same collection. What's he doing? It's like ah,、uh, what is this thing called in his hand? Pom poms. What? Pom poms. Oh really? Like, that's, yeah. That's like, a really cute name. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Hey, English can be. I know Chinese is a very cute language. English can be cute too.、Mm-hmm. It's like what cheerleaders use. The pom poms. Ah, yeah. He looks、yeah. like he's like cheerleading, and said, "Add oil." Yeah. So it's another one of those things where he has a speech bubble, and in the speech bubble, there's English and there's Chinese, and the joke is how bad the translation is.、Um, but he's waving these pom poms around, saying, "Add oil." And what's the Chinese under that? 加油加油 which is literally add oil. But what does that mean? It means go for it, go. Yeah, yeah. go 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 go. So like at sporting events,、mm-hmm. we would be yelling like go 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 or something like that. And Chinese people are always yelling 加油 But why does 加油 mean go go go? What's the relationship there? No idea. Do you know? I know because I thought it was crazy, and because I'm not Chinese, I can't take it for granted. So I googled it,、mm-hmm. and what they're talking about, yo, means all kinds of oil.、It、could be cooking oil. It could be like skin oil.、Mm-hmm. Uh, it could also be petrol oil.、Ah. So add oil, like the the accelerator on a car is called the yoman, the oil gate. So when you hit the yoman. You add more oil to the engine, and it goes faster. It just basically means accelerate, hit the gas. Literally, it means hit the gas. So、uh, this is originated from car racing games. I don't know if it's from a game,、mm. maybe. But that's funny because when you go to buy more gas, it's also said. Jiao. Yeah, I need I need to jiao.、Mm-hmm. So I'm a little bit confused about that. But as I understand, what Google has told me in my past was that this means literally referring to hitting the accelerator in a car. Jiao. All right. Oh no, Le- our little、What? friend Li Lei has has had a apparently had an unfortunate accident. <laughs> Can you describe this? <laughs> he's like、um, lying on the floor with his face down, and he looks like he's having an episode. <laughs> yeah. So like he's he's none of him is moving except for his left leg is sort of up in the air and it's twitching, and I think his his shoe has fallen off. I don't know what that is. That his hat.、Uh, his hat. Hold on, he's not wearing a hat in any of the other pictures, and now his hat is gone. That's weird. Anyway,、uh, but what does it say again in his speech bubble? It's a humorous bad translation. What does it say? No zuo, no die. Yeah, no zuo, no die. And if you're thinking, what does zuo mean? Well, it's not English. It's it's pinyin. <laughs>、uh, but no zuo, no die. The the rest of it's in English. But what is the what is the Chinese there? 不作死就不会死。不作死。就不会死 Okay, so 不作死作死 How do I understand 作死 It's uh, it's really hard to translate. It's a little bit、yeah. like making trouble deliberately. Ah, yeah. So, like you know, this is gonna be bad, but you do it anyway. Yeah. So this 作 is actually something that on another podcast called Mosaic of China, hosted by Oscar Fuchs. It's a great podcast, by the way. Highly recommended. One of his guests talks about the word 作 Which sort of just means to to make trouble in、yeah. a way, or to act out.、Mm-hmm. So to 作死 means to have acted out and achieved the result of having died because <laughs> it didn't work out for you.、Mm-hmm. Um, so 不作死 means literally means to not look for trouble. Yeah, and then 就不会死就 here kind of meaning then. And 不会 means will not, and then 死 is die. Yeah. So if you didn't go looking for trouble, you wouldn't have died.、Mm-hmm. Like you brought this on yourself. 不作死就不会死啊 idiot. This is your fault. Like 不要做 is the most frequent word my mom says to me. <laughs> really? <laughs>、yeah. What do you do that makes your mom say 不要做 She basically say that to me all along my childhood、mm-hmm. because I like making troubles. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you got to tell me how you make trouble because you're so like. I always feel like I'm the clown in the room when you're around. So、oh, wait, what? Yeah. Oh,、uh, yeah. You're always giving me that look. Like, come on, Josh, <laughs> act <laughs> like an adult for once. We all zuo, Josh. So what did you do to make trouble when you were a kid? How did how did Avers zuo? Like I would secretly sneak out and 
not t- telling anybody. Yeah, sneak out of the house. Yeah. Yeah. And faking my parents' signature. <gasps> that's, that's not a big deal. That's a Don't, that's I, a criminal crime with laws against it. No, it's not. I mean, on papers, on test papers, not right. like on some super important documents. Okay. Mm-hmm. So that that's actually a great example. So if those behaviors are zuo, mm-hmm. let's say that you faked your parents' signature on something, and yeah. your teacher found out, and you got in trouble, and you were complaining about your bad situation, someone might say to you, Yeah, you brought this on yourself. You If you weren't so zuo, you wouldn't die like this. So... Mm-hmm. Yeah, and the funny thing about this is, before this sticker, I had never actually seen the whole sentence, mm-hmm. I'd only ever heard people say, no zuo, no dai. Ah. This is the case where the English has superseded the Chinese that it came from, I think. Mm-hmm. At least in my circles. No zuo, no dai. You yeah. brought this on yourself. You made your bed, now sleep in it. <laughs> That's a real saying. I didn't make that up. All right. Avers has sent me a Pikachu. And Pikachu is saying something, and above his head, there are four characters, which I might not get the tones correct, but I think it says, Yin Chui Si Ding. Si Ting. Si Ting. Mm-hmm. Yin Chui Si Ting. Yeah. Um, let's, I get it now that I, that I say it. Let's see if you guys, the fans out there, can guess what this Yin Chui Si Ting means. No, I can't sing that song because I'll have to pay for it. Just kidding. Okay, so yeah, you've probably guessed that interesting means interesting. Interesting. They've just taken the English word interesting and put four characters that kind of sound like that on there, which is I love that. I do that all the time. <laughs> like sometimes people say Mao Ning. Ah, uh, yeah. Mao Ning. And that means morning. Morning, yeah. Uh, are there any more commonly used ones? Oh, like um, a really classic one. Mm-hmm. Thank you. Oh they yeah, say, yeah. Sankuyo. Sankuyo. Mm-hmm. And that was great because that actually means something, right? Yeah, three grams of oil. <laughs> three grams of oil. Sankuyo, and that's grammatically correct. The mm-hmm. pronunciation is correct, but it just sounds like thank you. So sankuyo. You're welcome. 不用三颗油. I don't need three grams of oil. That was a bad joke. All right, let's just do one more. It can be anything. Well, okay. I, 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 ugh, you're making me wonder if I have consumed drugs between a, that last sticker and this one. Let me try to describe to you what I'm looking at. Uh, so there is what appears to be a smiling cartoon of a Buddhist monk uh, who has upended a wooden bowl. And from this bowl, there is falling a potted flower that is playing a saxophone. <laughs> Avers, have I summarized this correctly? You summarize it perfectly. Excellent. Uh, my second question is, what? <laughs> and the caption says, 收了你这妖孽. 收了你这妖, and the last character I don't know. 妖孽, uh, means monster. Right, so 妖 is something that often is means monster of some sort. Yeah. And 妖孽. 妖孽 is uh, usually used in the word, in the phrase 孽子. Like, bastard. Oh, yeah. So it's like a it's like an insult. Yeah, but you can use it in a in a super cute way, like between uh. really really close friends. Oh, you bastard monster! <laughs> <laughs> so cute. So basically, it says, uh, "Come here, you monster." Oh, so he's not dumping it out of the wooden bowl; he's sucking it into the wooden bowl. Yeah, it's a magical oh. object. It's a magical bowl. Is this like a? Is this something that people know about? Like the sometimes Buddhist monks have little wooden bowls that they suck up saxophone playing flowers into. Yeah, it's from Chinese uh, Asian Chinese mythology. Okay, I've read Journey to the West in English. I is, is uh, it in there so somewhere? you might know this character very. He has a magical tower. Oh yeah 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 the the pagoda Jin. king yeah yeah yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. what what's his name Li Jin. Li Jin. Mm-hmm. So he has this pagoda. Does it does it suck things up into it? Yeah, and because his song is really. So his son is uh, <laughs> yeah. His son is a is a troublemaker who gets himself yeah. offed because he's such a troublemaker. He's mm-hmm. very zuo si. Yeah. So he sucks his son up into this pagoda. Yeah. Okay. Is that um? Nerja Chuanqi. Nerja. Yeah. Nerja. Yeah. That that uh, Chinese animated movie that was making waves earlier this year. Yeah. Did you Nerja. say that? I saw part of it. So this Buddhist monk is sucking this 
colorful saxophone playing flower mm-hmm. into a bowl. And he says, Shola ni yao nie. Yeah. So Shola means like to receive or, or to pack away. Mm-hmm. So it's basically saying, I have captured you, you monster bastard. Yeah. <laughs> and it's supposed to be cute. <laughs> So how yeah. would how, what, what, how would you use this? At what point would you send this to a friend? When you want to make meaningless conversation, like when you're really bored. I I don't know about other people, but if I send this to one of my friends, it means I'm really boring, and I we could literally talk about anything we want. Okay, so it's it's just like it's a, it's a nebulous emoji mm-hmm. that is just sent to be sent. Yeah, I I, I don't under, I understand the chat. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, thank you guys for listening to this nonsense. Again, I will send all of these stickers that we talked about to the WeChat group. And if I can screenshot them, I guess I'll try to put them on social media. But you really should join the WeChat group. I mean, we have a lot of conversations every day about Chinese and different things that different Chinese words mean. And I'd be happy to answer any of your questions in the group. Avers is in the group if you want to chill with Avers. So thanks again, guys. And thanks again to you, Avers. You're welcome. That's all the MSG we have for you today. If you want to see the stickers we talked about today, just send us a message on Facebook or Twitter, and I'll add you to the WeChat group. Just search for Mandarin Slang Guide, or send an email to mandarinslangguide at gmail.com. Thanks again to Avers for putting up with my long-windedness, and as always, thanks to Himalaya for being a great place not only to listen to podcasts, but also to host your podcast for free. Himalaya! Yeah, you get it. A very special thanks this week to smiling Buddhist monks who trap psychedelic sunglass-wearing saxophone-playing flowers inside of little wooden bowls. Glad to know you boys are out there keeping us safe. And last but not least, thank you to you, the listener, for listening. I love it when you listen to this podcast. If you have any questions or comments or complaints or love letters, just send them to mandarinslangguide at gmail.com. Happy New Year, and 再见, 再会, 再聊。Bye-bye.